Welcome back to Vegas Live with me. You know, as you can see, I have a good-looking guy next to me. Um, Nate, Nate Strager? Strager. 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 I got it right. I never got the last name right because that's my gimmick, actually. I always... Um, I was actually putting his photograph up on, on the, uh, on the uh, website and everywhere. And I thought, who's this good-looking guy? Well, he's, he's good-looking, he's tall, and he dresses extremely well. And he does real estate. So what more could you want in this world, especially in Vegas? Hey, Nate, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing, well, I've got you next to me now, so I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing wonderful. So you're in the real estate business. Were you born in Vegas? No, no, I'm actually from Long Beach. Oh, Long Beach. But I've been here 40 years, so. Hang on a second. Almost. You, you don't look 40 years old. <laughs> 45. You're 45. So yeah. you came here when you were a little toddler. I did. You, yeah. So I can't say, do you miss Long Beach, because you didn't even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Only, a, only as a, a little one. So as a little one growing up um, in Vegas, you decided you wanted to do real estate, or did you start out doing something else? <laughs> yeah, so I got out of school, and uh, I worked as a machine operator uh, at a dairy here. And then uh, I thought, yeah, this is for the birds. Um, so I started... So, like the Milky Way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was not the Milky Way. <laughs> so um, I started investing into a few rentals and whatnot. And I thought, why am I paying this guy when I can do it on my own? There you go. Um, so I started doing it on my own. Uh, been doing this almost 18 years now. I do everything from, you know, a $300,000 condo to $11 million apartment complex. Wow. So I didn't want to get pigeonholed into one thing or another. No. So well, in real estate, you can't really get pigeonholed into any one thing because there's so much out there, unless you do just residential. But many, many, many do, right? Oh, so, really? Oh, yeah. So my second year in the business, I had an $11 million apartment complex approach me. Can, can you do you know, an apartment complex? Sure, no problem. <laughs> Figure oh. it out, right? Right. So I figured it out, and as time went on, can you do this piece of land? Sure, I'll figure it out. And then I did my own development. I built my own building and other oh, helped really? other buildings and things like that. Yeah. So which one do you find uh, in this day and age the most profitable place to be? Because I know uh, quite a lot about real estate. I've been in real estate a long time, but sure. I'm a private investor. Okay. I don't have any licenses. I don't do any commissions. I don't do anything. Sure. I just buy and I sell. I do my thing, but. My thing was always commercial, less work, more profit. Sure. And now everything is industrial, right? Because there's less retail centers. Everybody buys online. This is the pro. Ah, so you've got the, remember the strip centers? The, yeah. The strip, these so have strip centers, which are fabulous. But everybody, Amazon, everybody wants to order online, right? So now, Correct. So now it's all warehouse, industrial, warehouse, industrial, warehouse, industrial. That's what everybody wants. Now, what, is it going back then? The reason I'm asking this question is because I heard it on, the, on, on one of the news media things that um, this food business, the delivering food, delivering this. Uber Eats. All this stuff, yeah. Okay. They're deciding now, because it's costing the consumer so much to order it, deliver, and then they're having it delivered, and then giving a tip. So now they're saying... This is now kind of dying a little bit. I, am I right? Am I wrong? Or, or do you know? That I don't know, but I can tell you, you know, I, I have meal prep that gets delivered to me weekly. But when I'm out of meal prep or I have to do a normal meal because I'm single and I can't cook to save my life, it's a $16 salad, but then another 16 in fees and tip and everything That's else, right. right? That's so, exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm talking about the economy because gas is going up to, what is it, $7 a gallon in some it's places? It's pretty expensive. It's really expensive. And I buy the premium. I buy the hot one. Sure. So my, but the other day I bought, I had my, my, my car filled up, $101. I, I'm there. I'm there right the next to you. I'm right next to you. <laughs> what car you have was so similar to my car. But yeah. it's, it's, it's not ridiculous because this is just how it is. And if you understand how it is, that's how it is. So work it out. If you choose to buy X car, you better choose to take the cost with it, right? Well, especially, but maybe you didn't choose that car when all this expense came. Because this, this gasoline true. is just kind of in the last year, isn't it? Year and yeah. a half about that. So with all this um, going on, um, and people are now sort of cutting their money, saying, well, I'm not going to go out in my car 
um, three times this week. I'm going to make sure I put everything I need to do on one day and just do all the things I need to do out there in one day. Does this, on any of this, affect people buying houses and the real estate? Because I see the real estate housing is going down. Yeah, so when everything happened, when COVID happened, I thought everything was going to drop 10, 20, 30%, right? Yes. That's what I thought. But nobody knows what the future holds. Nobody has a, a crystal ball. I have clients all the time that call me from California and say, hey, I'm coming, I'm going to buy a house for 400K, what's it going to be worth in two years? I have no idea. Well, right. not this day, I have no you idea. don't. This day, as you don't know. So what happened was there was a, they did a moratorium. You don't have to pay your mortgage. You know, everybody said, "Great, I'll sign up for that." And then everybody got furloughed in in the casinos. So if they sell their house, where are they going to go? Because they can't buy another one because they don't have a job. Correct. So now you don't have to make your mortgage payment. Nobody's working, which made the inventory go from you know ten thousand to. 1500 or 1700 right right now it's a different world now everybody that didn't have to make a mortgage payment now you have to make your mortgage payment yes. and those in that two years that you didn't have to make your mortgage payment not only do you have to jump back on and start making your mortgage payment but now you're two years behind on that and the banks aren't going to let that loose R right so people now, think that you don't have to pay those two years that's not true so and then interest rates went to two and a half percent so now interest rates are at five and a half. They're scheduled to get to seven percent. Inventory is raising because of it, and on top of that, oh, no. banks are filing no, no notice of defaults. Yep. Which means instead of having five to ten notice of defaults a week, now we're at ten to fifteen a day. Which means wow, that's a big that's a big jump. It's a huge from a jump. week to a, a day. Jump. So less people now can buy because the interest rates are going to you know in the Go five up. and a halfs going to sevens. Which means inventory is going up, which means prices have kind of leveled off. Notice of defaults are going to ha are happening, which means there's going to be more and more foreclosures, which means things are going to change. Is this going to be another 2010? I have no idea. But if I had a crystal ball and I could <laughs> bet on who's going to win the Super Bowl, believe me, I would take it. <laughs> who's going to win the Super Bowl? I have no, no idea. I have no idea. Um, but getting back now, so you said you deal in like commercial a little bit, which is more commercial apartments you deal in. No, I do it all. You so do it all. I've sold, I've sold, you know, uh, commercial buildings like office buildings. I've sold, you know, huge pieces of land. Um, I've done developments. I've developed my own building. I have, really? a, I have an event center and dance studio called Rhythms, oh, which yeah. is a huge event center and dance studio for kids, and, and right in the center of town. Um, I've done apartment complexes. I've done it all. You've so, done it all. So you know from ground one. Why, why give somebody else the deal when you can just learn how to do, do it? Do it yourself. You know, it's funny you say that because um, my husband and I, we did the same thing. We did as that. He, was not a, he didn't have a license either. We would build. We would buy. Sure. We would sell. We would fill it up. We would, you know, we would lease part out and put the price up. So we, I know what you're sure. talking about, a hundred percent, and you're absolutely right. And I think that's what a lot of you are learning out there is that you, that you can do it yourself. But at the same time, you're you're deferring all these payments for two years, as you said. But it's, someone's going to take that bite somewhere along the line, and the banks are not going to let you loose. No, they're not going to just say, "Oh, you, know, you don't have to pay." Yeah, they're they're not just going to. You know, dismiss it. Yeah, they're going to defer it, but you're still going to be liable for it. Somewhere down the line, they're going to be liable. For sure. Somewhere. For yes. sure. Absolutely. 100%. So, where do you see it going from now? What, what, what is your focus, and where do you see what's going to go and what's happening? I think, um, I think prices are going to start to drop because interest rates are going to hit the sevens. Um, how far they're going to drop, I have no idea. No. No, no idea. Nobody at all. really knows. But right? are you prepared for it? Are you putting yourself in a position where you're going to be? You're not going to feel the fall. So my business model is is the same, and let me kind of explain. Yes. It doesn't matter if I'm listing a three hundred thousand dollar condo or a three million dollar house. Okay. I treat every client the as same. luxury. So I pay for a maid service to come in and clean your house. I pay for a landscaper. I pay for a professional photographer, I pay for aerial overlays, I pay for drones, I pay for this, I pay for that. And I take care of all this cost in the front, plus I have two marketing teams yes. marketing your house on social media and all that other stuff 
doesn't matter what the price point is. So no. my business, whether it's a down market or a high market, your you, property is gonna is gonna stand so you're out. So you're going to stay in the same level as you've always stayed. Oh yeah, because give them exactly the same thing, whatever they want, how they want it. I'm not coming in with my phone and just snapping pictures and sitting back and no. just hoping somebody comes. Okay, so this is probably why you are successful. You you look. Somebody's going to pay you tens of thousands of dollars to sell your property. Yes. You, you have to give them something. You have to be in it with them. Yes. And I'm putting all this money out. I don't charge my client for it, so I have skin in the game. So the more the better we we can make it look, the more money you're going to make because you have more boots through through the door, right? I, I, absolutely. So, but do you also believe, which I believe in dearly, is service is a very important thing. People seem to have forgotten what service is. People love service. Do they still like service it? Service is everything. When there you, you go, go into Rolls Royce or Hyundai, where are you going to get better service? It's not about the Rolls Royce. Okay, it's a little bit about the Rolls Royce. Well, but it's, a, <laughs> it's about the, the service that you get. When you yes. walk in, hey, can I get you this? Have a seat. This is it. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. You're the woman. You're the man. What are you know? We treat you very well. You should be treated like that. It doesn't even matter if you're selling a manufactured home, you're still spending thousands of dollars for that service. And you it should might get be good thousands service. of dollars for one person, a million dollars for another person, but at the same time, we're all the same. We all want the same. You deserve thing. good service. Period. So what's coming up? What is coming up? Anything interesting coming up with you? You got any big deals? You know, um, I always have new new listings, okay. and that's kind of my thing. You know, I, I take listings. I come in. I say, look, it's a little bit cluttered. I bring in a team. They declutter it. They clean it. They do everything. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna expand my brand to San Diego because I oh. love San Diego. It's beautiful there. It I don't is know if you've been there. I, I, I know like San Diego degrees. and La Jolla and all of that. Oh, yeah. It is beautiful there. So I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I want to have my brand in two different places. But for me, it's just, uh, you know, what's coming up, just just good service. Just Good keep service. Going. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Because once you sell it, you can't go backwards and resell it. So why not put all the effort that we can and then making it look the best, best we can, can to make the most money because you can't go backwards and get that and then do it again. Absolutely not. You're absolutely right. So. You know, it's funny. I always say that thing when somebody goes to a nine to five job and I say, you're going to be there from nine to five. So you might as well put in there as much work as possible and build yourself up rather than shoving papers around sure. and doing nothing. You're going to be there anyway. Yeah. You're doing it anyway. So, a uh, personal question. Sure. <laughs> because he's a good looking guy. How have you maintained being single all this time? Uh, is it lack of women in Vegas? So I don't think it's lack of women in Vegas personally, because there's so many women here of all shapes and sizes, intelligence, colors, everything. You've got everything here. So, I work a lot. Um, I have multiple businesses. I thought you could say I have multiple girlfriends. Um, yeah, I, you know, I just want one, uh, but I have multiple businesses and I own, uh, so at night I have to go to my, uh, my other business and I have to, you know, I have staff and everything else. Well, well hang on a second, what's I, this night thing? So I, I've been a dancer for 25 years. Aww. I dance salsa and I've used to travel uh, the world and perform uh, and teach and, and everything. Yeah. So it's hard for me to say, let's say me and you are dating. Hypothetically. How cool is that? Right. I can so take him up on that. Me and you were dating. Can I bring my chair a little closer? I'm saying, hey, I have all these <laughs> listing appointments during the day. As soon as I get done, I have to go to this, you know, to my building so the at salsa, night. You want to do your salsa thing. Well, we have events. We do corporate. We do weddings. And then I have the other side that does all this other stuff. How? And then I'm going to be there till 9 o'clock at night. And then maybe I see you once a week. How is that relationship going to work out? I, I don't think so. Number one, I'm far too old for you. So I'm not. I'm not in that category. But I don't mind. I love being where I am, and I, I love everything. But but and I'm not going to say we need to find you a girlfriend because I think you're very capable of doing that yourself. I just need somebody that's a little bit understanding. You, you need somebody that's going, and you've probably dated a few of them. They haven't come up to that understanding part of it. I need somebody that's going to enhance me, right? So I'm Superman. I need a oh, superwoman. So so you know something, and and you, it's funny because I when I met my husband, um, he didn't have any money, but we worked together, and we were in real estate, and we ended up in a seven thousand square foot home in Bel Air. Nice. It's amazing. Very nice. We did very, very well. Good for you. We worked together. So what I'm saying is forget all that, what I just said. 
but you have to be compatible together. You do. But you, you have to work together. You've got to understand what that you is. To respect it's not, each other. Uh, uh, the respect is an, an understanding each other. So you, he's not asking for much. Because well, as, as time goes on, these little nuances get on your nerves, right? So oh, tell me. You have to, you, you have to <laughs> always keep that, that respect. You've got to keep that respect. Always. Things do. I was married 29 years. Husband passed away. But, and I had, a beautiful, I had the most beautiful marriage any woman could have. But So I'm wishing you the best for that. Thank you. Thank um, you. Regarding work-wise, San Diego. San Diego is beautiful. Amazing. Um, yes, it is wonderful. So you might end up... Down there, more than up here. Yeah. Especially with this hot weather coming up and everything. Thank God it's a 45 minute flight. So That's all. You have yeah. a private jet yet? <laughs> it's, it's on my. Uh, it's, on his, it's on his wish list. It's, it's, on my, it's on my vision board, right? It's on your vision board. Then, so. you, then become a pilot. Do it yourself. Come on, go when you please. Yeah, it could be like How Tom, cool is that? Tom Cruise and just do everything, right? Tom Cruise or, or Elon Musk. Uh, hey, I'll take Elon Musk's take money Elon. first. Yeah, Elon Musk is the... By the way, Elon Musk, uh, um, you are the greatest guy out there. I, I highly respect you. I happen to have a pair of your red shorts here in my in my house because I ordered them and I, I look at them and think of you. Um, anyway, <laughs> I do have a pair of red right here. That is funny. <laughs> funny. Um, how can anybody reach you? Uh, you can go to my website, nathanstrager.com, or you can just call me. My phone is literally on 24-7, which sucks sometimes, but That's I'm it. always there. I'm always available. There's different schedules in Vegas for when people work, so you can call me at 702-301-1091. My phone is on. It goes to me. I do have assistants. I do have staff, but it goes straight to me, so you'll always talk to me. So, all you women out there, <laughs> hang in. Here he comes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, for having me. Thank you very appreciate much. Appreciate you. Wonderful. And um, I appreciate, you know, learning more about what's going on, housing going up, housing going down. The industry in the real estate business has always been up and down and up and down like anything. You just make the best decision you can at this it's like moment. Like the stock market. It yeah. goes up, it goes down. For sure. It's all the same. Thank you so much. We'll be for right sure. back with our guest. Thank Take you. Care.